If you've ever had to replace a faulty router, or have had to perform a factory reset to get your router to work again, more than likely you will have found that when it comes to reconfiguring the router, it is both a time-consuming and an exercise in long-term memory retrieval. So, if you have to manage your home network, any tips that minimise a router's downtime could be useful. In this video, we're going to first take a look at how you back up the system configuration on a Synology router. Then we will return the router back to factory defaults, before finally restoring the backed up system configuration to the wiped router. In order to make a backup of the router's configuration, we first need to open the control panel. From within control panel, we need to select system. Within system, you will find a configuration backup and restore section. As you can see, the first option is to back up the Synology router's configuration and save it as a .dss file onto your computer. The second option is to restore a backup configuration, or perform a factory reset. Let's now back up the router's configuration. We are informed that the system configurations that will be backed up are users, shared folders, work groups, domain and LDAP, Windows File Service, Mac File Service, FTP, WebDAV, Wireless Network Configuration, Security, Parental and Traffic Control, Administration, Network Tools, User Home and Password Settings. When we select Yes, a .dss file is created and downloaded to the computer that you're working from. You can see that I've previously made a configuration backup. Each backup file will be automatically assigned with the file name Synology Router underscore. After the underscore, the file is date stamped. This is the file we just created. If you backup your router's configuration each time you make a major change to your router, you will have a snapshot that you can quickly revert to if a change that you've made goes wrong. Let's now quickly factory reset the router and try and restore a configuration from a backup. With the router reset back to factory defaults, we next need to run through the router's basic setup wizard so that we can log back into the Synology Router Manager. You should note down the username and password for the administrator's account, as the username and password we are creating here will not be overwritten when we restore the backup configuration. The wireless access point name and the Wi-Fi password will also not be overwritten when we restore the backup configuration, so it might be a good idea to set these options now with the settings that you were previously using. Any other settings can be filled with dummy data, as they will be overwritten as part of the configuration restore. We now need to reconnect to the wireless access point. If you reapplied the same Wi-Fi name and password that you used before factory resetting, your computer will automatically reconnect. Having run through the router's basic setup wizard, we can now log back into the Synology Router Manager. Again, we need to open Control Panel. and select System. As this router now has none of the configuration settings that we were previously using, we need to select Restore Configuration. When asked to select a configuration file from the computer we're working from, if we select Browse, we can navigate to the location where the .dss files are stored. Once we've selected the file that we wish to use to restore our settings, we can click the OK button to start the restoration process. Before the restoration process begins, we can choose which configuration settings we wish to restore. If I select all system configurations, I can then individually deselect from submenus any setting options that I do not wish to have restored. After clicking OK, we're warned that the Restore function will restore previous settings to the router and that while the settings are being restored, no services will be available. We're also warned that the router's IP address will change as it reverts to its previous settings. As none of these issues will be a problem, we're going to select Yes. 
The backup configuration settings are then restored back onto the router. A message notifies us that system configurations are restored. When we select OK, the router reboots and applies the configuration settings. Once the router has rebooted, your settings will be restored. However, I would recommend that you check that all the settings and services on your router are correctly working. So to recap, we've taken a look at how you make a backup of a Synology router's configuration. We've then factory reset the router. And finally, we've reviewed how you can restore a configuration to a Synology router.